So today I'm not going to show you anything cool like Battlefield or Planet Side 2 or any of the other awesome games that I have, but I wanted to show you a little casual game um, that I've recently become obsessed with. And it's called Triple Town! Um, I got this when um, I was playing with OCB Clan and it was a Christmas party and my team won and I got to choose a game on Steam and I chose Triple Town. Um, why? Just because it said award winning. <laughs> that was the only reason why. Um, <clears throat> and a simple fact is that you um, you get an island, a main, ba main base island, and then you have these little ships here, one, two, three, four, five, um, and you, with each turn that you get, you earn money, and with that money, you can buy items and then create things um, on this main island. So you kind of create a main base, and um, as you can tell how unorganized my main base is, um, I... Uh, I had absolutely no idea what I was doing and I just randomly placed different objects anywhere because I thought it was cool until I realized that it was like the game itself and you had to arrange them in such a way that it would uh, that they would come together. <clears throat> so let me explain. Let me go to the standard colony. And um, okay, so I know this looks quite boring, but this is a, a, a puzzle game um, and you, you have to think strategically about it. When you place certain item, items next to each other, they merge to um, create one item. So if I put three grass next to each other, they create a bush. And if I put one, if I put four, you get a tree. And now there's different types. There's the normal ones, the normal bush, the normal tree, and then there's a the colorful tree, and then the colorful flowery bush. Um, and the more you bring them together, the more trees you get and it's important to get trees because trees create houses like these um, and you don't get to decide what is going to spawn next so right now this is a bear and um, I'm gonna have to place him down somewhere and I, I, had, I had no idea there wasn't gonna be another bear so I decided to put them here so I can place them next to each other next to this tombstone in order to create a church um, now I know that sounds complicated, but it kind of goes in, in threes and fours. And um, I wanted to share this game with you guys because I I think it's really easy to play. Um, it's mindless fun. You don't really have to think too hard, or you don't have to. You can just stop and you know do whatever you're doing while you're on a coffee break or something. You can just you know. And it's also free on the iPhone and the tablets I believe I'm not quite sure if it's free on Android um, but it is free on um, all the Apple products I suppose uh, the only issue I have with that is that if you do get this game and pay for it on Steam obviously it's not going to um, uh, what do you call it it doesn't it doesn't go together with um, obviously all of your applications on your phone or on your tablet so you have to like buy it twice um, <clears throat> so you have to think about you know if you are going to get this game um, which platform you're going to be playing on the most I if, to be honest if I had known this game was going to be this much fun I would have chosen it for my iPhone simply because uh, playing solitaire on the phone can get really boring <laughs> and it's um, this this game doesn't need internet like Dragonville or any of the other applications I do play on my phone and tablet um, and it's just a game that's really simple you don't have to think too hard about it however once the game continues it actually gets surprisingly difficult um, and I will show you why um, once I get further in the game <clears throat> now as you can tell I have been placing the bears in a specific order and I put them close to the churches and this is because uh, these churches can also get together and the houses can also merge together uh, which is why I've, I've placed them together. So now I'm just waiting for that final bear and I'm gonna try to place him up there which is going oh which is going to be an issue because ah, no okay uh, now I'm now I've got a problem because I want I want space here in order 
to... Okay, so like I said here, you can merge the churches. I've accidentally made more space for the bears. Um, okay, so... I'm kind of stuck right now because I'm waiting for an open space between the bears up top. But they're not creating any space, so it's really annoying. Okay, so I'm just gonna put the bears here. Now the church is converged here, which is quite annoying because it'll take a very long time to get any more bears here to create a church, which is what I'm gonna have to do in order to um, get rid of the churches and then create a treasure chest and get money. So now I'm just gonna have to put the bears here again. I'm gonna make it smaller so they can't run away as much. Um, <clears throat> And you also, as you notice, you have these little people walking around, and um, they're they're just your villagers, your you know your average villager. And um, I thought that you couldn't place the bears close to them, but I think they're only there for decoration because it doesn't seem to make a difference if a bear is there or not. They're not going to get eaten um, or anything. So uh, now I'm going to have to put the bears here and. There we go. So now we've got two churches here. I can mix them together here. And I'm gonna try to move these houses closest, closer closer together. So, um, and you've also got like different different class houses. So this is like a little house, this is a burger house. And if you put two burger houses um, together, you're gonna get like, you know, the creme de la creme house, which is like for the upper class. I got unlocked that achievement and I was like, oh. Upper class. So here we go. Mix t these two together and you get a super house. Um, and so the more up you go, you have to be more careful with where you place your items. For example, I cannot use these two bushes because, um, and also I can't place anything here unless it's a tree to converge these three items. So you have to you have to kind of think about it carefully. So I'm gonna get rid of those bushes because, as I mentioned previously, I have no more use for them and I wouldn't know what to do with them, even if I had them. And I just placed that for a ridiculous reason. Um, so here we go. There we go. So if I put if I buy a crystal, I don't have enough coins. But if I do, um, I could put all these three churches together, which would be fabulous. Um, now, I think you, you have to do this by your own preference. You slowly have to learn how to place your objects and items. I've learned to um, place them in a certain way, and obviously you still make mistakes because you're doing it quite fast and you think it's quite simple, and then suddenly you accidentally put down the wrong item, and you're like, oh crap, I didn't mean to put down um, a bush or... Uh, you can also save them over here. So I've saved what's over here. These get rid of items. I can get rid of anything here. Um, however, if I do get rid of um, a church or a house, I will lose the credits, so I will lose the coins. If I do it on a bear, they will turn into a tombstone. So now I've just wasted one, just to sort of show you guys. Uh, but it was worth it. Um, <laughs> and so now, if I put two bears next to one tombstone, tombstone I get another church so I would really really I'm really hoping as you can tell I'm, I'm running out of space here and I'm kind of panicking um, because I usually get bushes and now this is the worst this is a ninja bear and now you wonder why this is annoying I wanted to place my bush here <laughs> but I can't because there's a ninja so I have to put it somewhere else and he's just gonna keep jumping around and blocking um, Blocking, blocking my roots of escape, um, and roots of escape. I mean, like, you know, placing grass in certain areas. So now he's completely blocked me, and he's gonna ca cause the end of my game. So there you go. Um, another reason why I like this game: you can be really good, you can be really bad. It depends on your own, um, and it doesn't really matter because all you get is coins, and you just end up worrying about this island more than the island over there. But each, you know, each to their own. Now, as I was mentioning previously before, <clears throat> I was an idiot and just randomly decided to plop down any random thing and I had no idea what they created. However, as you realize, um, I am unable to um, 
to create anything and show you guys because one two one two one two one two one two one two there is no space for me to show you um, how they end up together but that's okay I'm gonna buy a crane um, so I've got a crane now if I put three things next to each other I will get so for example if I put three gold ore next to each other I get a little house and now I've created more space so I can use that um, I believe this is for ore this is also for ore I have wall wooden fence a uh, catapult for some reason now the thing is I'm pretty sure I've I I haven't gone far in a game and there's quite a lot more things to do um, like when I was loading I for example I thought so here I've, I've created a little market stall which I'm really proud of um, and I saw a, I saw like I saw a island in the sky and I want to get an island in the sky so that's I guess my goal right now is to get an island in the sky because that just sounds um, it sounds cool and it sounds pretty I, I've always liked islands in the sky <clears throat> now for example you can tell if I put three items next to each other they, they create an object that is bigger or better if you can tell I just put wood next to each other to create one fence. I put three wooden fences, I get a brick wall, but now it's somewhere completely different, which is why I have to save up coins to get to the um, to get to the crane. Now there's other places, for example here, there's lots of bears and uh, you'll be at a lake. Here, um, Peaceful Valley, you have no bears and you have no ninjas. So if you have a little uh, boy or a girl who, you know, doesn't like the bears and would just like to place objects next to each other in order to create something. Um, I would say that this is a map to go. Personally, I find it uh, not as challenging. Well, it is challenging in that um, because there is no enemy, you're not placing certain things in a certain way. Um, but I guess I kind of like the bears. They do get annoying. <laughs> um, but the bears, the bears are quite funny and I can place them to create churches and um, I don't have to worry about them. <clears throat> now these rocks over here, um, I can also show you the rocks. If you place them next to each other, if you place two next to each other instead of three actually, there's an exception to the rule, um, you will create a tombstone. Well not a tombstone, you create a bigger rock. And out of that rock, if you put them next to each other and then delete it, and then use this little robot here, um, or imperial bots as they call it in the game. Uh, then you will get a treasure chest, and in that treasure chest you get either more items, or you get to um, you get to earn coins. It really depends. It's kind of like a a a roulette table. You have no idea what's going to come out at the next end. And um, for example, now. If I wanted to get that treasure chest, I would get rid of this and I would buy a crystal and put them together, but then I have to get delete. So obviously it costs a lot of resources. Now this is the reason why I don't like it, it just took, it's so much harder for some reason to create something when there's no bears or ninjas. Um, here there's no ninjas, and here's just a tutorial. But um, there's just a little tutorial, I suppose, of how to play the game without actually doing the tutorial. Um, oh, I just realized I've got more, more space here to create something. Um, what I will create, I don't know. Um, well, I've, I've created... Oh, I've got, I've got more space here. Okay, hang on, you guys. Calm down. Oh. Ah! I thought I had... So this is what I mean, it's quite annoying. You think you clicked something, but you didn't actually click it. I um, hope you guys liked it and um, yeah, see you guys around.